Hello YouTube, Lost Gary here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Insurgents. This time around, we're going to be hopefully taking in, hopefully ta well, we're going to be taking on the second gen, hopefully successfully. I have grinded a lot, and I did end up finding the rare Pokemon that was on the Route 4. Uh, it's in the top, it's a Delta Ralts. It starts at level 15. It's in the top uh, right-hand corner of the map, and it, and it is pretty powerful so far. Uh, I mean, obviously, it doesn't have like Thunderbolt or uh, Ice Beam or anything, but it, uh, its moves aren't that great. But right, that's just for now. Later on, I'm sure that he'll get great moves. So, anyways, uh, I have evolved Charmeleon Charizard, and I have to say, that is an amazing looking sprite. Uh, who? Uh, but yes, anyways, let's head into the gym. Yes. I have no idea what to expect. Oh, I guess it's just a maze. Let's see. Where does this take us? Okay, this is a weird setup for a gym. Can we go? In? Yes, we can go past this guy. I'm glad I wasn't stationed near Xavier's room. There's always this weird mist in there that makes me feel odd. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, well, I guess that explains why he wanted the place to look like a... Uh, or to be built in the forest. Thank you for that, Foldy. Totally needed you to waste that. You know, this won't deal that much damage, actually, because... I think of it, because I'm pretty sure that full uh, oh wait, no, that's not the case. I guess. I could have sworn that bug resisted ghost. Right, uh, no, it's the other way around. Ghost resists bug. Ooh, yeah. Uh, yes, actually, because I want to raise Gardevoir's level some more. An ice electric type Pokemon. Might not be the best defensively, but it absolutely is amazing offensively because Stab, Bolt, Thunderbolt, and Ice Beam, even just like lower level versions of that, has deal a lot of damage. Wow. And Dust Tax is basically the epitome of what this gym stands for, considering it's a bug and poison type, which is what this gym is themed around, I guess. Or going off what the NPCs have said previously. Oh hey, thanks for that. Totally needed that. Uh, I don't know if I want to switch in because it'll just just whirlwind again probably. Yeah, like that. <laughs> uh, let's let's just do like a gamble type thing, where hopefully it'll switch into Gardevoir or uh, the Gardevoir. If I do this. There we go. Uh, let's try using Power Stone. Well, actually, no, it's weaker. And... Oh, okay, so we're going to play this game. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to do that. That doesn't deal that much damage. Oh, hey, I actually that's better at that time. And now, like, half my unknown, like, I, I think all of my party gains experience points. <laughs> that works. Well, not sure if it's legal, but whatever. Yeah, okay then. So, I guess we have confirmation that the second gym leader is a stoner. See, where does this take us? Back to the beginning. Great. Let's try going to the right this time. Okay, uh let's see what directions are there. Uh I think I will go to the left. Take the left left tree. This takes us to a dead end. Okay. Actually, no, I think we should try to raise our Pokemon's levels more. 
Ooh, Fempy has an item. Super Potion. That's so cool. I think we should try to raise our Pokemon's levels more, just because uh, I have a feeling that the Gym Leader's Pokemon are gonna be like. Yes, I know. They're gonna be like high or mid 30s. What? Oh, I guess she has a missing sprite. Wow. And that helps, doesn't help us at all, other than making us actually more likely to kill ourselves with just, uh, by just hitting ourselves. No, that won't. Well, actually, I probably should have. Oh, I mean. If it's not actually. There we go. Uh, I mean, obviously, the boosted attack doesn't really do anything for us, but. What was the point of that? Why didn't it just attack us? Logic. And now we're actually getting some good stuff. Golbat? Yeah, see, like, even just this Golbat is. Uh, higher level than 30, so I, I feel like it would be worth it to. I'm switching out. That's. I feel like it'd be worth it to train uh, Gardevoir and Marowak slightly more. Uh, that's just uh, uh, something. I don't know if that's actually going to end up being that, the case. Yeah. Okay, so the Aroma Lady's sprites are broken for me. I don't know if that's just because uh, the way I installed it or if it's actually broken in the patches. You pop my Pokemon and now I'm sweating with fear. Uh, what? Hey, I, no, never mind. So let's try going this way instead. Oops. I always do that. I said I've always done. I always do that. But this just further proves my point. Uh, hmm. That's where we were before. And this is a new area, but we can't go further. I'm great at mazes. Well, I mean, I don't think this is like a typical maze. But, let's see, I think we have to go back this way. Because that's obviously not leading us to the back right place. Uh, so somewhere over this way, I think. Because I think we went through that one last time, so let's try going through this one. And if we didn't, uh, Disregard me, I'm terrible at puzzles. Well, not necessarily puzzles, but mazes at least. Does this not actually have a hole in it? Okay then. Can I speak with you a moment for, for a moment about Arceus? Ha. Huh. Picker Tara. Who's it? Stone. I feel it deals a lot of damage actually. For being only a 40 base power move, that, that's pretty powerful. I mean, obviously, there's the type advantage going on there. Uh, no. Because I can do this. Oh, thank you. Lovely spore to the face. And then it's just gonna use spore again, isn't it? Oh wow, I'm surprised. Normally they use the same move twice in a row. Or, well, I've seen that happen. Not fun. Scrub, yes. Wait. Does that matter? Well, no, it doesn't actually matter. Uh, I guess we'll switch into Marowak to get his levels up some more. Or, hers. Yeah, hers. Oh, 
level up some And boomerang. Now this could oh well, no actually if I two, if I one hit KO it doesn't matter. I was about to say this could backfire me on me because scrub, scrub is part water type. And I defeat you fainted in your misplays. What? For your misplays. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, I get that. I get what they're going for. So I feel like I know where I'm supposed to go now, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's try going back in this tree because I, I think we just went the wrong way. Because I think we went this way, or we went up, and there's still the way down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Uh, do we have awakenings, though? Yes, we do. Fireball, rope up, and then a super potion. Cool. I'm assuming, yeah, I don't think we have anything to, or uh, any ethers or anything to restore power points. Uh, but, uh, I think we should start off, lead off with Gardevoir. Yo, what's good? Name's Xavier. I train Pokemon as a profession, uh, and, uh, so you're here to battle? Well, whenever you're ready, I'll take you on. I'm not as much of a pushover as I look. Plus, I have a little surprise up my sleeve. Let's go. Yeah, I've seen the surprise that he has. Let's begin, then. That should be interesting. Later Xavier would like to bet. Later Xavier, some type of Chulte. Oh, guard war. Uh, I, I don't really know what to... Oh, I guess that doesn't matter, because I didn't actually get the chance to be uh, immobilized by love. No. Even though he can probably one-shot me, I'm going to risk it. Ah. Aha. So I'm assuming. Oh, never mind. There we go. There's that one shot that I was talking about. Uh, let's go for Charizard because obviously this Heracross only can use uh, physical type moves. Or well, even if he, even if it does use uh, like uh, what's it called bug type moves. Bug type moves don't really do that much damage to Charizard. Just from a type uh, type advantage standpoint and. Fighting type moves can't hit wrong, so that was pointless for it. No. So I'm assuming that I can outspeed it and hit it with Shadow Ball. Yes. So far this is going much, much better than I expected it to. And here comes the difficult part. Foes is Beedrill, the foe Beedrill's Beedrill is reacting to Xavier's Mega Bong. <laughs> ha. Oh, fun. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. I am so glad I have Shadow Sneak. Oh. Oh, man. That was really close. I feel like he's going to tank this, and yeah, I mean, I guess technically I could potentially kill it with Mara, but this might turn out badly. Yeah, GG. Okay, um, uh, yeah, that was an interesting battle. And by interesting battle, I mean I failed terribly because that. Uh, I, I I will say even though I, I knew it was coming, that Beedrill uh, still uh, actually threw me off. So yeah, now we just stand here and watch as our Pokemon get slaughtered because we haven't raised all of them. Kick down. To add insult to injury, it hit, healed itself. 
and it's probably going to be full health by the time that this battle is over. Well, I mean, at least we know what not to do this time or next time around. <laughs> yep. GG, no read. Ha 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 ha. That was fun. And by fun, I mean not fun at all. I should probably actually lead off with Charizard now that I think about it. But at the same time, this could also end badly, so we shall save before we get to him again. Wait, I just realized I could end the recording and get back. But I know where I'm going now, so I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, where I'm going is actually really easy. Yeah, so... Let's save again. Yo, what's good? Yes, 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 we've gone through this already. Yes, I'm aware of your little surprise, even though it's not actually that little. And before he leads off with Beedra. Come on. Oh, really? Is that so? I didn't actually know that I could do that. Well, I should have figured it, but... Meh. That actually is probably going to screw me over, now that I think about it, because as soon as... Because if I try to switch out on Beedrill to get the... to avoid the knockoff... Uh, I feel like I should do Shadow Sneak instead, just to get in slightly more damage. Hmm, I don't know. We shall see if this is a good idea, because uh, the spell tag is going to get knocked off no matter how you look at it. So I mean, I guess moving first is probably a good idea. Well, at least this time I wasn't left with 1 HP, so there's technically a chance that I can not get one hit KO'd, or not get KO'd by, uh, Tentacruel. I, I kind of want to actually, but I feel like I'll be at a disadvantage either way. So I will stay in. Yeah, there we go. Because if I didn't, because if I switched out, I would be, uh, disadvantaged by the sticky web which reduces the speed of the Pokemon that hits it, and that accuracy is going to kill us, isn't it? Uh, thank you for that. And I can't two-shot the speaker. Oh, actually I can. Wow. Well, Charizard is dead. Uh, let's see. I think I, sh I should be able to use Gardevoir the same way I did before. Of course, uh, the minus speed is probably going to hurt me a lot too, because as soon as it decides to use Brick Break, okay, there we go. Uh, I guess uh, Marowak can do something, and I could pro if if anything else, if, uh, if Marowak fails, I can just uh, use my other Pokemon to heal Charizard, or well, like use their turn or use a turn with them to. Oh my God, the thing has really high defense. Well, I mean, granted, I'm three levels under it, but still, that's a lot, and now it's just going to use counter. And... wow, that actually did not deal a lot of damage. Mm, that's fair. Yeah, I'm going to have to use the other Pokemon to heal Charizard, or heal it and cure it if it's poison. Uh, antidote? Is there anything else I could use? Uh, might as well use an antidote. Charizard was cured of his poison there. <laughs> Saw that coming. 
I mean, well, I expected this to happen because, but, because that's obviously what it was going for, towards. Uh, I should probably use this because I want it to be at full health, because super potions will never store 50. And let's switch out into Charizard. I'm definitely going to have to go do a bunch of grinding after this episode is over. And that does not very effective. Uh, that critical hit could be the difference between life or death. But I don't think so, because I obviously have the type advantage in being, in being resistant to bug and immune to fighting. I say obviously a lot, and it's not necessarily obvious if you don't really know what Pokemon is. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, is leveling up a bunch. Nope. Nope. No, wait, no. No. Yes. No. Okay. Program. No. Oh, I forgot about this thing. Uh, I should be able to kill it. Considering poison is neutral to. Oh, dragons actually resist poison. Cool. Oh, that was the second gym leader. Man, I can't believe I lost. Man, I lost. What do you think of my Beedrill, though? That's called Mega Evolution. It's pretty impressive, right? Maybe one day you'll get it to do it, too. Here you are, dude. Nice job. Take the stinger bed. Yo, you can have this, too. Then a shock. Cool. Finish shot is actually a pretty mediocre move. It only has 65 power. But dude, when they use it on a Pokemon uh, that's been poisoned, it doubles in power. Crazy. So, I think you'll want to head out to Helio City for your next gym. The leader there has a gym based around the sky. Good luck. I'm probably going to need that luck. Anyways, uh, well, I should, I, I suppose we should heal our Pokemon because leaving them fainted. Oh. Hey, are you lost Gary? I've got a letter for you. Some guy in blue suit with blue hair dropped it off. This letter this letter is the one for chosen by Mew. We have your friend. We will be waiting in the city dump. If you do not come, you won't see your friend again. Come alone. I hope you don't mind. I took a peek at it. The big dump is just on the other side of the town. If you don't know it, I don't know if you should go though. The, the cults are anything to mess with. Uh, well, I mean, they have my friend, so I should probably uh, follow their orders. I mean, of course, they could be bluffing, but I mean, I can take them on, I think, considering it's a, the Abyssal Cult, so I can just use uh, Gardevoir. Uh, actually, we, do, we should have enough time to do whatever is in the dump, uh, well, depending on how long it is. I might have to stop midway, but here we go. Let's head into the dump. There's a lot of garbage around. I don't know why I'm avoiding these trainers, considering uh, I kind of need Gardevoir to level up. We've been waiting for you. You know? I wouldn't be surprised if this game threw a whisk cash at me. Just to screw with me. Let's start right in here. Although that might be a bad thing considering. Oh, well, ow. Well, well, the Guard of War uh, doesn't resist water. Well, it doesn't really make sense. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but uh, electric types not resisting water. I don't know. Anyways, this is an easy way to get them to level up. Oh, I see what you did there. I forgot that these guys have more than one type, in, as insofar as they usually use evil Pokemon, like Mediana or such. And I'm probably gonna hit myself in my confusion, and then. Oh, wow. I'm dead. Huh. I'm going to use Ice Shard and hope that it kills it, although I don't think it- Oh, it did, actually. Cool. 33. Calm mind. I should probably do that. 
like that. Try for Crap Crowd, Try for Learn Pump Knife. And Little Helper's probably gonna level up like four times. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, I guess having more survivability doesn't matter. We've walked right into our trap. I kinda figured. But it doesn't really affect me that much. I don't know. I mean, like, obviously, I have to fight through you guys, but it's not really a difficult thing for me to do. We have your friend. Don't even think about running away. This will hold us for Gabby. Oh, what's up with that cry? I think I think that cry is, uh, I think I remember reading that the uh, X and Y Pokemon's uh, cries are broken, so they're not using the... Oy. That, that's annoying. Um, like how the first gym, his little Leo used Delphox's cry and stuff like that. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but it, in the case of Frogadier, that was annoying. Just the sound. Well, then we'll want the one thing after that's done, you and your friend will be free to leave. I'm assuming that's something to do with Mew, possibly? Uh, can I get through all the garbage? There we are. Okay. There's an ice here. I'm assuming the guy, with the, the person with the red hair is the. You're naive, kid, if you think you stand a chance against the cults. No, it's not actually. I, I think it's just a normal run. This will help us. Plunger. Well, that's obviously not just a normal one because he has four Pokemon. Well, actually, I think at this point, four Pokemon can be considered the norm to some extent. I have no reason to. Fire's power is weakened. Oh no. I can't use fire moves. I don't think I was really planning on doing so either way. So yeah, lots of stat point gains all around actually. Oh joy. I sure do love confusion. And I'm going to hit myself, aren't I? Oh, wow. So the RNG has actually been on my side this episode. That's kind of surprising. Product. I feel like this thing probably has a fighting type move. But, no matter, even though it's a dark type, uh, I feel like that would be something that they would throw on. Wow, 102 special attack at level 35. Wow. I don't think it's actually that great, but it looks great. Really think you could take me on? I'm one of the sculpt strongest cultists in the group. Is that so? That doesn't really mean much to me, but... You know what? What are floats your boat? Okay, this could be a problem. I don't know why I stayed in. Because rock is super effective against ice. Yeah, like that. I, sometimes I don't think, and the other times I overthink. And that usually leads to bad times. Like that. Or Gardevoir. You never saw it coming, even though I did, and I'm a bad trainer. Right on. Well, this could actually be a bad thing considering it's dark type. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. And that just happened. Of course. Ow. I am great at this video game. Hello, my Um, yes, so I can heal. Please. 
that would be a, that would be helpful. Thanks. I guess we do have a water bottle, or fresh water, so we can use that on Charizard instead of the Super Potion. We might end up using both, but... Okay. So that we can use both, I guess. I was transformed into the water type. I don't want to know what that has in store for me. Spell type this battle, so I guess that works. And none of my moves have stabbed now, so I think Shadow Ball is more powerful. Just base point, I think it's 20 base points higher than uh, Dragon Breath. I think Dragon Breath is 60 and Shadow Ball is 80. Pretty sure. Shadow Ball is a good thing, because this is part of second. I do wish I had the ability to get revives by now, because I would like to have Paragor following me. Or well, in my party, I should say. I'm gonna pay for this, I swear. Uh, I don't happen to have a revive, do I? I didn't think so. I guess so. Is this a revive? No, it's a repel. Close. Not close enough. I didn't really need to do that, but I'd like to have Pokemon following me. Just from a visual standpoint. So, I guess where I have to go is over here. Let's see, can I surf on this stuff? No, I didn't think so, because that would be disgusting. Yeah, I'm assuming this is where I have to go, because they're kind of funneling me through this place. Stunky. Oh, thanks. Your friend awaits you. If you don't do everything they'll say, well, let's just say he won't be even al alive to complain about it. Mm. Well, that was nice of her. There's that cry again. Ah. Nice rock type move. Doesn't really do much. Because one, it's not flying. Two, well, SmackDown, uh, if it hits a flying type Pokemon, it goes to the ground and can be hit by ground based or ground type moves. Um, no. It doesn't scare me, it's not. I think the only thing that actually scares me now is uh, the Crawdons, because they have. Uh, off. And that actually really hurts me. Believe it or not, well, it hurts Charizard, I should say. It doesn't actually physically hurt me in real life or my trainer, but that come after if I leave. Oh, Bea, so you may, might come out unscathed. So I'm assuming this is where I have to go. Yeah. And I can't surf on that water, so Damien is essentially stuck there. Unless I talk to these guys. <laughs> so you came. In all honesty, I wasn't expecting you to. We heard you talking about Mew as I was walking by the gym. You know, someone who has a chance of being the hero of a prophecy and saving the world should be a little bit more careful about what they might say. So here's the deal. You give us Mew in exchange for your friend. Don't do it, Lost Gary. I'm not worth it. Very well. If you won't give us to us voluntarily, we'll take it from you out now and take me by force. Cultists, go. Destroy this impudent child. Yes, ma'am. I was not expecting a double battle. I mean, at least it's only one. But I'm gonna have to switch out Fanfi because I don't want it to die for no reason, no good reason. Although, Marowak can't really switch in on either. I might just have to do, oh, well, Dugong is an ice type, so this might backfire. 
let's see. I mean, there's always the chance that I'll try using something that doesn't deal damage, and therefore I will... Oh, uh, no thank you. Yes. No, okay. Yes. Cool. Scrub. Okay, that's helpful. And ice beam, well, not ice beam, but aurora beam. Uh, I think I will try to take out the studio. And it just uses aqua jet and kills me. Thanks, Obama. I'm, I'm being facetious when I say that, by the way. Uh, but. Well, I mean, as long as I killed the Dugong, I'm good. I'm assuming each of these has two Pokemon, from what it seems to be. I think I'm going to use Endure just because. <laughs> it wasted its move at least. I endured the hit, but I'm confused. Shadow Sneak on Dugong. And Endure again. <laughs> Doesn't really do much, but eh, whatever. Yeah, so they each have two Pokemon. That's what I thought. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. This suddenly got a lot more complicated. Oh, well, there goes the neighborhood. And by the neighborhood, I mean my chances of winning this battle because I'm a noob at this game. It's been a good life. Oh, uh, no, don't kill me. I'm honestly surprised that it survived with 1 HP. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, this doesn't give like a game over or anything. That would suck if there was like an actual way to get like a bad ending where they actually kill you and take your Mew and but yeah, that would be bad. Uh, anyways, since we failed so spectacularly this time, at least we managed to defeat the gym leader. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know this episode is a little bit long, but anyways, see ya.